It's true that the, my attempt to sort of generally explicate the externalist story, as Alex pointed out, I use two semantic terms, and they do need to be cashed out. But, but it seems to me representation is, uh, carries quite a lot less semantic baggage than uh, meaning or reference. Mm -hmm. um, and, right, and so if there is a systematic if, I've, if, there's, if there's systematic response in my behavior mediated through other systematic processes in my brain and strong, that strongly co-vary with uh, syntactic changes in the various linguistic entities that we use for, for this for information exchange. And there's also, of course, covariance. That covariance, those covariance patterns are repeated in to people with whom my interlocutors. All that systematic covariance just is representation. That's the basis of representation. If you want a simpler version that avoids the term representation, I highly recommend the recent book by my colleague Ray Jackendoff called A User's Guide to Thought and Meaning, which summarizes, and I mean, his book, Foundations of Language, is, I think, a masterpiece, but it's a very hard masterpiece to work your way through. Easy masterpiece so his book, The User's Guide to Thought and Meaning, is, is his inquiry. Hume wrote the treatise, very difficult, nobody read it. Then he wrote the inquiry to, to get people to pay attention, and they did. Um, Ray has written The User's Guide, and it is clear as a bell, and he's extracted it from all of the um, uh, infighting with the Chomskyans. All of that stuff is just canceled out. It's not there. And he just lays out a view which looks at what has to happen so that language can have meaning. And he points out that philosophical theories that don't go through the psychology and the neuroscience and the brain are, are tying two, hand, two both hands behind their back. Here's a, here's a parallel that, that some people will, will get right away and they might really like. Think about Evo Devo in biology. What do the Evo Devo people say? They say, oh, you evolutionary biologists, you go all right. You go immediately one step from the gene to the phenotype. You leave out all the Devo stuff, and that just isn't good because the Devo stuff makes a huge difference. And a lot of evolutionary psychologists say, "Well, you know, we thought we could sort of finesse all that Devo stuff, and and we really can do the mapping directly from the gene to the phenotypic features." Well, there's differences of opinion about that, but Devo seem, there seems to be a lot of truth in Devo. <laughs> now, here's what Ray is doing. He's saying to the philosophers who have their semantic model theories, which go right from the word to the world, he says, you're leaving the brain out. You can't leave the brain out. You got to go from the world to the brain to the, the word, word to, to the, the brain, brain to the world and if you try to leave the brain out you'll never succeed in telling the story well and then he takes the brain and he uh, articulates what the specs have to be what does the brain have to do and it's not uh, 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 David reminded me of this the first day yesterday when, when he was talking about how the brain scientists uh, they sort of don't have the vocabulary even to talk about the high levels of what the brain is doing. And this, of course, goes back to David Marr, who also said, you got to know what the problems are that the brain is solving. Ray's book is an attempt to list the specs for a working brain that can, that can talk about its world in terms that are amenable to modeling in the brain soon. You know, it's not, it's not source code yet. No, no, all I need now to satisfy Alex, right? We've got, we've got this, we've got a, rep a notion of representation that's more innocent than reference, right? But, but it's, still, it's still intentional. So we've got to figure out now how we can tell a, bit, a mechanical story to get something going on between the tracking system in the 
representing organ, the brain, and, the, and those physical tokens out there that we use for coordination, you know, words, for example, or sentences. Um, now, I take it, key part of the story in symbolic species is to tell us what happened, right? In the development of the, in the, in the, uh, uh, in the, in the, in the phylogeny. Causing, phylogeny of the brain. Of right? the human brain. The human yes. brain that, that established that, uh, that, that basic ground floor representational capacity. And, and Terry's story is, relies on, on emergentism.